we've got an upper bracket that goes up underneath this plastic here and we've got a lower bracket. You can do it either step. It doesn't matter. You can put the lower bracket on or upper bracket. We're going to choose to put the upper bracket on first. Unfortunately, to get to that bolt up underneath there, and even if you have to remove the chrome bumper, you have to remove the, uh, the top plastic. So when you do get to the front end replacement, you'll have to do this also. We kind of played with the um, other side already to get it loose a little bit, but now we're going to show you how to do this side so you know what bolts and all that to take loose. You're going to come over here to this fender well, and there's, there's a series of little bolts. There's going to be one one straight up here. What we're going to do, we're going to take two of these guys out in this underneath just so we can pull it apart, pull it back, because there's one bolt up underneath there that you got to get to so this plastic can pop out. So there's one right here, the little star screwdriver set that you can use to get them out. And they're very easy to get out. One right there. And then we're going to do one more up here. And then right by it is the one in the plastic, because there's also two in this plastic, so we can pull this plastic apart off the truck and get to that. See, those, those three right there are a little star wrench. Now you're going to use a 932nd. You need a nut driver. It makes it a lot easier. None of them are very tight. They seem to appear. Okay, once you get that loose, thing out of the way there. You got to pop that loose. Just get your fingers in there and it's just little pop in pegs that you can pop loose. And this just gets that out of the way because this little plastic has got to pop out so you got to get it by there. But first there's one little vertical bolt and it holds that plastic straight up. You got to get that vertical bolt out. And again it's the 932nd. It's right there. Maybe Jonathan, you can come around here. You can see my wrench kind of where the socket, it's on that bolt right there. It's just straight up in that little pocket right there. You can see you just got to go straight up and you can get that bolt out of there. You can stick your finger up in there too and find where it is before you get started. Just one little bolt just like that. It's right there. Okay. Once you get that bolt out, then you can kind of get that plastic and it's going to pull out of there. It's in there a little bit, so just be aware, leery, be careful with it. And that's going to pull out right there. I'm going to get up underneath there now. There's, well, you can pull out a little bit more. I'll pull out a little bit more on the other side. Okay, you can see how it pops out to here right now, okay? There is one more vertical bolt. If you want to make it a little bit looser, there's one more vertical bolt that comes straight in that you can actually pop loose to. And you can kind of see where it is right there and it'll loosen things up. Because this plastic piece right, this black plastic piece is what actually, it pins it, this plastic, to the fender. So there's one right behind where my finger is. And we can see the pointed end of it. There's a bolt right there and there's a vertical bolt. It's a 932nd too. You can release that it will actually make that piece looser to come out yet. I just kind of skipped it just because I've done it before. I'm going to get up underneath there with the screwdriver. That on this other side. I'm going to get Chewy over here. He's going to hold this other side we got loose and then just put a little bit of pressure because what we're trying to do is right here there's some little clips on here. Well there's another little piece that's in that little hole right there and I just get in there and I just pry them apart and then it pops out of there. So I'm going to get up underneath there right now. And Chewy can hold this other side of that plastic there for me. And I'm going to show you how to, how he's going to take that off of there. It's kind of hard to get this. You just got to kind of hold patient. You get a light up underneath there. You can see it a little bit better. There we go. Chewy, you want to kind of pull out on you now? out Chewy? Yes sir. Okay, there we go. And I popped the little pegs loose. Then you're just going to take this guy and he's going to take it to the side over there and get it out of your out of our way. You don't need it until actually after you put the guard on. Uh, 
Another reason we take that off of there because you can see there's a bolt up here and you have to get to that bolt to um, take that chrome bumper off. And not necessarily we're trying to take it off for the guard, but our bracket that we have here is going to slip under that big old washer that that bolts on okay so we need to get to it to loosen it and then we'll tighten it back down and that's our upper bracket that we're um, gonna put on this guard and we'll show you how all that goes in a little bit we're gonna have to do a little bit more on this one than y'all will have to do this um, this truck's got to go back to the dealership it, they don't want a guard on it going back we don't want to scratch anything so in order to get our bottom bracket on there's a little filler piece in there that kind of and then it keeps the daylight from showing in that. That piece has got to come out. Well, we're sending the truck back, so we have to take it all off without hurting it. If, if you're putting a guard on there, you don't need it no more. You can cut it and you can kind of pull it out. And there's a little bottom ear that you may have to cut with a little razor blade right there just to get that bottom bracket on. We're going to show you how that is. But for us to do it, we actually have to remove this bottom piece off the chrome and we got to get that little filler piece out of there without hurting it because we got to send it back again. Like I said, we got to send it back to the dealership. So we're going to uh, take the, the bumper off and we're going to get it, this bottom piece back off of here. And we're going to put the chrome bumper back on and we'll show you how the top bracket is, the bottom bracket goes on. And we'll, be, we'll get that done right now. We've gone ahead and taken the bumper off. I did tell you we had to remove that whole piece down here to do what we were going to do, but actually I forgot the GMC. You can just take a little cup out. It's a lot bigger opening than you're going to have right here. Again, you just got to trim a little bit and take that little piece out that we talked about. The bolt up here that we explained to you about is right there. We kind of did a bracket on this side, on top and bottom. I'm going to show you that a little bit closer. This bracket always goes on the outside of the frame. This part right here goes on the bottom of the frame. And this goes on the outside of the frame. That is actually one of the bolts for your tow hooks that's going to bolt that bracket onto here. So you want to go ahead and remove the nut off that tow hook. The driver's side has got one hole on the side. The passenger side has actually got two holes on the side. So uh, don't think anything of it when one's got one hole one's got the other. That's just how it works. They do it the same you know, side to side, but we go on the outside of the frame on each one of them. This hole right here does not have a hole in the frame. All that is is that your frame is right here. It comes right to the edge. This little square tab right here is going to go on top of on top of the, your frame. And when you tighten that bolt with the bolt that's provided, it's a half by one and three quarter, goes in there. And you tighten that, it pinches. My fingers is the frame. Pinches the frame in between those two. There's a cup on the bottom of the frame. It's really hard for you to see here, but you'll see it because it bottoms out. The bracket stops on it in here, and it wedges in that cup. Once that's tightened in there, that bracket cannot rock back and forth. And all that side bolt has to do is just keep it um, wet or flat against the side of the frame. And it's very strong once all that's in there, but you have to put that pinch bolt in there or it will not be strong at all. Once you've got that, oh, you do notice, I didn't say, the bracket actually angles to the outside of, outside of the truck. Okay, you can get the flop and I switch around if you're not careful, but it just angles to the outside of the, the truck. You do not remove your tow hooks. You keep your tow hooks on there. Um, again, like I said, the, the, the reason for taking the plastic off and the only reason for taking the plastic off is because you got to get to this top bolt right here that is used to remove your chrome bumper, one of, there's one on the bottom too. There's a big, that big flat washer I was pointing at earlier. You're going to take this bracket right here and it goes just like that on each side and the other side's going to be like that, but it angles down like that. It's going to actually slide under that washer, get that washer up there. Get that quite come loose and right here. you got to take a wrench, a box in wrench. Wrench to get that bolt loose anyhow. I'm going to loosen that bolt up. The washer sometimes can get a little sticky. You're going to put that bracket underneath there just like that, and then you can tighten your bracket back down. I'm not going to sit here and do this and waste, waste your time watching me do it on film. You're going to have to do it yourself anyhow. 
As you can see, you can get you can get in there with the wrench, tighten that bracket down, just like I'm doing right there. Okay, tighten that bracket down there. It's going to stay in there. Now I'll tighten a little bit more, just so it works. Snug now. I'm going to go ahead and tighten that bracket down. On this side, we've already got everything done. I do want to get down here and show you that little pinch bolt. That little pinch bolt that we're talking about right is right there. When you put that pinch bolt in there, you want to push that thing as far back as you can so it's as far against the frame as you can when you tighten that up. Put your put your side bolts in loosely and all that. Don't crank down on them yet. And then get that pinch bolt in there and, pin, and tighten that pinch bolt up first. That way it sucks that thing up. If you tighten your side ones, maybe it doesn't want to suck it all the way up at the same time. And that, and then again, this is your, your top bracket on there. Once you've got the brackets on there, tighten them all down. Get them, get them tight. And then um, you can go ahead and put your guard up there. We're going to come around to this side over here where the guard is right here. Gonna walk around and follow me around. The bottom brackets is gonna, gonna bolt right here. We call them the shoes. It's kind of see two holes right there. We got it the other way. You should have flipped it upside down. We could have seen better. Your top brackets, you can see there's a tab right here. That top bracket's gonna go to that tab. So we're gonna get this guard up there and then we're gonna show you how to align everything up real good and uh, get it all tightened down. We've got the guard on the truck now. We showed you where the bolts go for the shoes and that. We went ahead and tightened everything up. I do want to show you that the, the tab on the guard right here, where that top bracket goes. The top bracket that we showed you where that bolt was that goes on there goes underneath the tab on the guard. Just make sure you put the, um, the bracket under the, the tab on the guard or you can put that bracket on there. Set the tab down onto the bracket. It'll kind of help you line that up too on there. To get the guard level, side to side you can take a tape measure I take a tape measure and I measure from the light to the inside or outside whatever you want to do just do it the same on both sides I'll get down here and eyeball it down just make sure you get it the same on each side that way you know it's good side to side to get it level up and down right to left there I get back and eyeball the tops of these loops with your hood line and that so I'll get back and make sure you get the center of the guard in line with you with the center of your rear view mirror on your windshield and you know that the guard's in line you get down and you eyeball it and just make sure you got the same up and down on each side by the hood line that's how i do the, the leveling there this this guard is the sensor guard you notice it's a it's a half strap we got the sensor bar in here um, it, it makes the sensors come out far enough so it does not catch the upright for the center ones there the factory housings for the sensors you will take out of the factory bumper and put in here I would show you on that one, but we do not have sensors on this truck, so I can't. But on, as you're online now watching this, we have a uh, video on there that has shows you how to do the sensors. It, it, it's got a sensor video on there, and it'll show you how to hook up the sensors. It'll step by step, so you won't have no problem doing any of that. After you get all that done, everything's tight. Make sure all your bolts are tight in there and all that. You've got it all leveled out, and then we're going to grab that plastic piece right here and that's the last thing you do and it's going to go back on. So what we do afterwards is just drop it back down in there and you're just going to snap everything back into place. It's got the little snaps in there. Get it lined up where it's supposed to go. You can't see where it is. There it is. I'm, 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 we're too high. Too too low. There we go. It's all just plug and play, just like just like it was when you took it off. You're just gonna put it all back in. I got a tab below it right there. And then you're just gonna put all your screws back in, just like you just. Pop it all back in. There you go. We'll pop that side in there. But again, after after you get that thing popped back in there, then you're going to get all your tabs, um, get all your little bolts back in there. Remember the little side ones you took out. Put all that back in there. And once you get that done, you're good to go. And it, it, it just 
that bracket just going to be up underneath there. It might be just a little higher. No, actually it sits down really good. So it's all good right there. So um, just put all the plastic back in and make sure all bolts are tight. And remember, you do keep your tow hooks. Don't take your tow hooks out. I think I said that earlier, but um, you're good to go. And that's your Frontier Truck Gear GMC 2016 half-ton truck.